Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way With a brand new recipe every day Sending videos from her trailer, yeah she's Jolene Sugar Baker Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, Merry Trailer Park Christmas. I hope everyone's doing okay and everything's getting ready for the holidays. You're home and, you know, going out and getting things. And, you know, I've been doing a new recipe each day here on my YouTube channel that you can follow along using the calendar at my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com. You can print it off and you can follow along. And the other day we made quiche muffins. That was so great. Those are great for brunch because we know that sometimes family members stay over, you know, Sometimes you have to lend them your couch, and that's okay, but you can fix them a great brunch for Christmas time. And then we did the gelatin surprise, and that had a surprising crust with pretzels. And, you know, that's great on the buffet table, and that's just something great that you can share, and definitely a trailer park staple. Well, I see today that it says chili corn dog pie, and... You know, I've been doing lots of things with hot dogs lately, and, you know, you have to check your religious scripture to make sure that, you know, pork is okay, or you could get the beef kind. I don't know, but a lot of people were concerned with hot dogs. They say they get kosher kind. That's for Trailer Park Hanukkah, too. If you're celebrating that, go ahead and give a shout-out or a comment down at the bottom. But um, I do, too. I get that. I'm scared because I don't like eating the rooter to the tutor. That's what my mama used to say. Um, I, I don't know what's in hot dogs, so I make sure that it says no filler. But today we're going to be using hot dogs in a great casserole that's great on a winter's cold night. And it uses that little box of cornbread. And um, it's a great chili corn dog pie. And, you know, it's definitely a change up of having hot dogs on a bun. It's a great pie that cuts up. Really nice, looks great on the plate with a side of corn. It's my chili corn dog pie up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2012. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my chili corn dog pie is really simple. And up here on the stove top, I've got my pan that I usually work with ground beef in. And I've got a pound of ground beef in there that I defrosted. And this is where you could really spice it up to what you like. So I'm going to add some steak season into mine because that's what I like. You could add chili pepper or whatever you like, but this is just spicing up the meat. I add some dehydrated onions and um, I just like that in my mixture and maybe some garlic. Let's put some garlic in there just to kick it up just a little bit. But let's go ahead and leave down in the comments how you would spice up the meat in yours to make it a little bit hotter. Maybe you like it hot. And I'm just going to brown this, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. There we go. Now that we have our ground beef browned, we're going to add the other ingredients. And we're going to add one cup of salsa to the mixture here, and three-fourths cup of water. Careful. And you can mix that around just a little bit to get that mixed. There we go. There we go, it's calmed down just a little bit. Now we're gonna add, uh, this is actually the green chopped up uh, little chilies, and these are good. Um, you can leave these out if you don't like them, uh, but this is just a um, seven ounce can, but you only need a little bit of them, so we could use most of the can on in there. There we go, we'll leave just a little bit there later for another project. And now we're gonna add, this is a half teaspoon of cumin or cumin as the people across the park across the water would say and then you need two teaspoons of chili powder right on into the mixture just on in there and you could adjust that to your taste you could even use some of the liquid kind and this is actually a six ounce can of tomato paste 
and that's got to go on in there too and that just really makes the sauce and we're going to be using hot dogs today you could use all sorts of kinds of hot dogs you could use the pork kind or you could use maybe the chicken kind or even the beef kind whichever you like um, but that goes right on in there and you could use a half a package of hot dogs or actually a, a full package depending on your budget now we're going to mix this around here in the actual pan uh, until it actually comes up to a boil this is going to take about um, five minutes and it's going to thicken a little bit so I'll check back with you in just a moment once that happens and I get this all mixed up and I'll be back in just a moment next up you'll need a nine and a half inch pie pan or maybe even a casserole dish will work too but you need to make sure that it's really sprayed out but I've got our meat mixture that we made up on the stove top and I'm just gonna pour that in there just like this and get that in to the bottom now we need to mix up the cornbread topping that goes on top of this that really makes it nice so I'll check back with you in just a moment Okay, now we're going to make the topping for the chili corn dog pie. And what you're going to need is corn muffin mixture. It's sold in little boxes like this, eight and a half ounces. And I've got that in the bowl already. Remember those green chilies that we saved from the can since I had a bigger can? You could use a whole can if you want, um, but I'm not going to make it that hot. But I'm going to add that to the mixture just like that. Now I'm going to add one cup of actual shredded cheese and this is cheddar cheese you could use your favorite and then I have a half cup of milk that goes right on in there just like that and then I have one egg beaten and I've already beaten that and we're gonna put that right on in there and now we're gonna give this a mix around and get this well mixed and that's gonna make your topping okay we have our topping mixed up here and now what we're going to do is just spread it out on top of the meat mixture very carefully until it's well topped with this mixture. I'll check back with you in just a moment. There we go. We put the topping on top of the meat mixture. Now I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and we're going to bake this for about 16 to 20 minutes. You got to keep your eye on it around that time, but it bakes up just like cornbread. So you'll know when it's done. The beef is already cooked. So is the hot dogs. It's just making sure that the cornbread topping gets cooked. So pop it in now and set your timer. And there you have it, my chili corn dog pie. And we spiced it up to our own liking. And as I said, you could add more things to it. Maybe you could chop up some green onions or sour cream or salsa up on top. What are you going to do? Leave a comment down at the bottom. But we made that cornbread topping and it looks so golden brown. But I can't wait to try a piece of this. So let me get a piece of the hot dog and sauce. And it has that ground beef too. Let me just try this piece. Mmm! Wow! That's got a kick. Man, mmm! That cornbread topping is so great and home style and the chilies and the cheese mixed out throughout the top and wow and the hot dog and the chili mixture is really that is great. It has great flavor and mmm! This would be so good on a cold winter's night coming up for your family and mmm! This is a winner! I hope you get a chance to make my chili corn dog pie. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. Of course, add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker there. And add me on Google Plus. I'm there too. There's more cooking shows right around the corner. Of course, follow along on your calendar from trailerparkchristmas.com. We've got lots of things coming up this next week. The holidays are right around the corner. I hope you all are ready. But don't forget to subscribe. There's lots of things to learn before then. But I love y'all. I hope you enjoy this. Share it with your friends. And Merry Trailer Park Christmas. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Fun. pride yeah. in the double wide. Jolene Sugar Baker. She's the Trailer Park Queen. In the double wide. She's the
Trailer Park Queen. Visit my store at TrailerParkStore.com. Spend the holidays, the trailer park away. 